I started as a dishwasher. I hated washing dishes. I was working at this little catering company and they sold chili as one of the million things we fucking sold there. And I remember eating the chili like thinking, my mom's chili is so much better than this chili. And so one day I just stepped up and I was like, can I make the chili today? And Cora was great. She let me do it. Uh, next day I was no longer the dishwasher. <laughs> So thank you, mom, for that. So this is pork belly. Here we're just trying to get a bit of caramelization all on the outside, some nice color, and then we're gonna braise it down. And then we're gonna cook it in a, a ramen-inspired stock that we make for the cassoulet dish. Everything marries, everything mixes. You got this like spiritual osmosis that happens, if I may. As a chef, I'm, I'm very experimental. When I smash, certain things together, tweak things. I would just love for people to know that it's, it's yeah, it's come from a spot of like love and that I hope that like the, these kind of creative processes make food a beautiful thing for people to make and share. These days I'm working on a lot uh, on my drum machine. In some ways it's, it, it could be similar to how we're approaching the cuisine where it's like, i uh, taking samples from people that made music in the could be 60s, 70s, 80s, could be Brazil, could be Japan, could be New York, could be Toronto. There's a similar sort of borrowing, inspiration, collaging, uh, that's it's kind of the same sort of process. Sometimes experimenting can be frustrating. With my music side, I definitely had a period where, you know, lots of friends and family were very critical of me, maybe more confused. That can be challenging when the people around you don't get what you're doing and why. I've just learned to understand as a part of it. This pilot light went out, can't get it to hold. <laughs> Fryer was on half an hour ago. See, this job's not as cool as it looks. <laughs> it's not all fucking romance. The lifestyle's really challenging. Um, you know, I've lost, I've lost partners. I've lost friends. You know, I've gone down the ranks in family, probably, <laughs> um, because of how demanding this lifestyle's been. I would do things a little differently maybe, but no regrets. You're never gonna come up with great dishes if all you do is, is try to do dishes that you know or that you've seen or that you've had somewhere else to come up with something that's your own or to tweak something that's classic, um, to give it a bit of time and place is gonna take failure and a little bit of uncomfortableness sometimes. Oh shit. It's a bit dark. We gotta do that again. <laughs> I think it's a playfulness that's important to me, you know? This is our opportunity, this is our legacy. So to just connect with the past and not play and create our own identity or not play and just feel our own existence a little bit more, I think would just be a great loss. I would like to believe I'm giving back, at least spiritually. Again, am I making a dish that's gonna carry on through time? Probably not. Uh, but I think I'm part of the, the right spirit. Smoking. <laughs>